In this exercise, we will be creating the infrastructure for the UI web view. Now, basically, all our three tabs are occupied. So, we need to create another new tab. So, for that, we need a UI view controller and we need a MVC folder, right? So, what I will do in my given folder, I will create a new folder called web view. Inside that, I will create model view controller folder okay now I'll be adding this to my project I go desktop I'll make sure it's added I'll be creating a new controller inside the controller folder cocoa touch file I'll say web demo view controller Obviously, we are using Swift. Uh, I'll say create. So once you have created, you have to assign this to your tab bar controller, right? So what we'll do, we'll copy this set of code. We'll add a new controller, right? Say tab controller four. I'll say web demo view controller. Sub controller four. Now we don't have any extra image so we can use the same image okay here we'll say web demo web view okay so we have done with these and now I'll run it so I'll run I'll use now iPhone 4s because that cover up the entire screen properly so I've run the application on the iPhone 4s simulator so there should be four tabs now in your application. So the fourth one will say web demo. When you click, it says web view. So in this particular tab, we'll be creating the web view. Now as part of the standard constraint which we use with iOS 7 and above, we'll set the background color to whatever color you want. So I'm saying white color. And with the navigation, we always make sure that we use edge ui rect ui rect edge dot none so that the origin is shifted below the navigation bar so i've set up my infrastructure now i can start creating my so for that i need to create a variable called web demo of type ui web view I'll be creating a function load my web and I'll be calling this method in my view did load. So in next exercise we'll be implementing the load my web method. We'll be seeing the model and view relationship of UI web view and then we'll move to the inter uh, getting the in interaction on the web page and understanding the HTML5 architect.